We are going to continue our journey with the Commodore Macro Assembler development system by enhancing our program by breaking it into libraries. So let's get started by booting all. Okay, we're going to retrieve our hello.asm. What we're going to do is we're going to take the code between line 1010 and 1060 and move it into its own file and replace it with a one line of code. This will make our code easier to read. So as we get more and more um, features into our program, it's easier to see. So let's get started. So we're going to replace this with a macro definition and we're going to call it colors. The idea is that we can just type the word colors followed by three param uh, parameters for border screen and cursor and it will set those colors. So we get to replace these um, numbers with question marks, which are the parameters. So number one, number two, number three. Then we can delete everything from 1070 to the bottom. And then 1070 becomes .mnd. And that stands for macro end. So there's our macro, the three parameters, they get passed into the border of the screen and cursor memory locations. So now let's save this as a library. We're going to call it colors.lib. Now let's um, retrieve hello.asm and change it to call our library. So we're going to delete lines 1010 10 through 1060. 10, and then we're going to replace 1010 10 with a call to our macro. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to bring our library into this code. So we're going to add a line before 1000 that says we want to use that library. And that is the .lib directive. Now we can see that our code is going to pull in the code, I'm sorry, the macros in colors.lib. And then when the assembler sees a call to colors in line 1010, it will insert that code with those parameters filled in right there. When we're done, this should assemble the exact same code as before. It's just our code is organized a little better. So let's save it. Remove the object file before we run our assembler. Okay, we're going to create hello.obj. Ignore those parameters, and our source file once again is hello.asm. I don't have to mention the .lib files, it's referenced in a hello.asm, and the assembler will go and find those on its own. Excellent, assembled correctly. Let's kill off the editor, run the loader. We should see the same values, and we do. C000 to Z, C038. And of course, if I run it, it does the exact same thing as before. Except looking at our disk, we now see that we have hello ASM, colors.lib, and those two program, those two pieces of source code make up our project now. In the next video, we'll make a little bit slightly more complicated library by moving the print uh, text logic into a macro. See you then.